Hi there, my name is Anne and in this video I'm going to turn this plain white t-shirt into some customized art. And I really like painting on fabric, it's really one of my favorite things to do. I've customized a lot of different things like tote bags and stuff like that and other t-shirts I've painted on before. And I really like doing it so I'm going to do it again on this t-shirt, which is going to be really really fun. So what do you need to do this project? First of all, you will need some piece of clothing that you want to paint on. I'm going to paint on this white t-shirt and you can paint on anything that you want with acrylic paint as long as you have this thing. Fabric medium. Fabric medium is a substance specially created to paint with acrylic paint onto your clothes because it will change the formula of the acrylic paint into something that you can paint on with fabric because if you just paint on fabric with acrylic paint it can crack which isn't ideal for your painting so like i said this one is by rayer this is the first time that i'm going to be using it so hopefully it's good and the other things that you will need are paint <laughs> acrylic paint a paintbrush and stuff like that i'm also going to be using painter's tape to tape off the edges so obviously if you want to paint something onto a t-shirt, you will need a design. And this is the very simple design that I've come up with. I don't know if you can see it, but it is basically a mountain. And this will be the blue color and like they will have different colors and then like a white outline between them. It's going to be a very minimalistic type of painting, but I hope that you will like it because I like it. Okay, let's get started. I'm placing the t-shirt onto my desk and I'm placing my light pad into my t-shirt so that I can trace the design onto the t-shirt with a pencil. On camera it looks very faint, but in real life you can see the design much much better. Now that the design is traced, I'm going to use painter's tape to make a rectangle that's going to serve as my edges. This way I can get straight edges and straight lines and I don't have to be so careful when I'm painting. Then I'm taking a bit of fabric medium and I'm going to go along all the edges of the tape and seal it with the fabric medium. That way no paint can get under the tape. This is just a safety precaution. I don't know if it's necessary, but I just like to do it because it works for me. And now comes the actual fun part, painting. First, I'm mixing the colors that I want with acrylic paint and then I'm adding the medium to it. This medium is a one-to-one -one ratio, so I try to add as much medium to the paint as the paint I've used. And then I just mix it. <laughs> and now I can finally paint. I'm painting the design on the back of the shirt. This is because this t-shirt is for my sister and she wanted the design onto the back, so the front will stay white. As for painting the t-shirt itself, I'm going color by color. And I leave a little bit of space in between the colors because I'm going to go over it with white later on to make an outline between the colors.
Welcome to the laundry room. <laughs> for the next step, you have to let the paint dry for at least 24 hours. I have let mine dry for two weeks because I forgot about it. <laughs> but the next and final step is just heat setting it with an iron. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm just going to use this piece of parchment paper to help make sure that the paint doesn't stick onto the iron. And I've turned the shirt inside out so that I can iron it first this way and then I will turn it the right side again so that I can iron it the other way. So I'm just going to take the iron and just go for it. And this is the point where I start talking about ironing a lot, which you don't really need to know all of it. All you have to do is set your iron on the temperature designed for your type of cloth, that's it, and never keep your iron on one place for too long, because that can hurt or like burn your t-shirt, which isn't good. Oh, and also while ironing, there is a chance that your paint might darken a bit, but it will turn back to normal after cooling down. And that's all you need to know about ironing your t-shirt. And we have a finished t-shirt. I think it looks great. <laughs> so, here is the final result. I really liked making this. I love how the colors turned out. And just as a reminder, this is the back, so that's why it's this high. The front is just plain white. And I really liked how I did it and how the colors turned out. I'm not gonna wear it and show it off because this is a gift for my sister. So this t-shirt isn't my size. This is not going to fit me. So I can't wear it for you guys just yet. I hope she finds this t-shirt good. But anyway, so this is how it turned out. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments and please give this video a like if you want to do that, that would be great. And if you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.